Hey everyone, this is Mark Marble from the Lantern Cast, and we're going to try doing something a little different with our movie reviews. And basically, this is while it's going to turn out to be most more audio than I would like, it was a, the idea was going to be a audio video movie review. Since I thought, based on the way I record uh, webcasts at work, I thought I could play the the trailer in the background and mute it, and then still talk over it. But unfortunately, no matter what I do, when with the muting of the actual you know, the insert of the trailer, on my end, it still basically plays, you know, the audio still plays regardless on the output end. So I figured I just would just uh, go with pictures if I had, you know, use the trailer, use some stills maybe to add this, spice this up, and we're not going to try, hopefully we're not going to, I'll get this problem licked, and then we'll move on going forward. So, yes, I want to talk about Terminator Genesis. Uh, I saw it on Tuesday night. So I'm recording this on Wednesday, July 1st. I thought Terminator Genesis was actually pretty good. I thought it was actually, in a way, as someone else I think phrased it, if Jim Cameron had decided to make a third Terminator movie, this is very likely how he would have approached it. The The storyline and the way the characters interact are, are very, very similar to in, in the, the relationships to how he portrayed the characters in both... T1 and T2. Uh, certainly, the view of the future, the idea of you know the f the whole you know Terminator mantra about you know there's no no future but what we make for ourselves. That is that we kind of got away from that even in Terminator 3, which I did enjoy. But at the end, the uh, even though it was a nice surprise ending when you saw the movie, that the idea that the that Judgment Day was unavoidable. That kind of flew in the face of what Jim Cameron was trying to get across, that you could that you could change the future. And of course, Salvation, to me, was torpedoed completely by the fact that, and I'll, I'll get into this later, about uh, John Connor's just obsession with Kyle Reese, because Kyle Reese is supposedly so, you know, is really so important, even though he's kind of, in my opinion, overlooking something about Kyle Reese. So as many, some people may know, so Terminator Genesis, basically, in a way, it's, Begins, we see something we actually hadn't seen in a Terminator movie before. We saw the, the basic final battles of the war with Skynet when John Connor and, human, and humanity won. And it was at that moment that they find out that the first Terminator was sent back to kill Sarah Con Connor back in 1984. So Kyle Reese gets sent back into the past. And it, but however, when Kyle Reese gets back there, he finds out that history has already been changed because, and this is one of those mysteries that they don't really talk about. They don't really explain. They do talk about it. They don't explain it in this movie. The, the, is that someone, and he's not even programmed himself. Arnold is not, the, T1, the T-800 is not programmed himself to know who sent him back to save Sarah Connor. But somebody sent the Terminator back to, to save Sarah Connor because another, term, another T-800 was sent back to kill her as a little girl. Her parents were wiped out, but the Terminator that was there to protect Sarah Connor killed the bad Terminator and then basically raised her. So by the time Kyle Reese arrives in 1984, she's already pretty much a badass and, and knows about it, all these different things that are going to happen. Um, so in, I think they do a nice, I think Amelia Clark does a really good Sarah Connor. I think she does a really good job at trying to sound like Linda Hamilton and she clearly looks a little bit like Linda Hamilton in this movie. I think the relationship between uh, the Terminator and Sarah Connor is pretty cool, and it kind of echoes the beats that we've seen in other movies, certainly T2 and T3, with the Terminator as a guardian concept. So I think it's so I think that works really well. Uh, part of the problem, some people have pointed out, and I won't. And if you didn't see the, you, you know, if you haven't picked up on this in trailers before, I don't want to ruin it for people. But in the last Terminator trailer, the full trailer, there are things that kind of do ru ruin a big reveal in this movie. Uh, it's not the only big reveal, but it's something that, yes, they probably should have been careful about and not leaked it, but they did. But nonetheless, uh, so I don't want to ramble on too much longer. I think so. I think, Termin I think Terminator Genesis is a worthy sequel it's of the first two. I think a lot of the negative views probably are because they view this as an unnecessary sequel, like many sequels, actually. But I think they, that's the main criticism, is that it's not really needed, so what's the point? But it really does fit in nicely. It kind of follows the Jurassic World concept of ignoring pretty much Terminator 3 and Salvation. And so it's 
kind of a direct sequel to Terminator 2, but of course, based on the events of this movie, kind of like really T2 didn't really happen now. So it's kind of one of those intriguing little little things. Uh, I mentioned, only because I mentioned it, the, the whole John Connor thing in Salvation being obsessed with Kyle Reese overlooks the fact that even if you want to buy into this big loop of time travel, the loop has to start the first time once. And that means in the original Terminator, someone else had to be John Connor's father or else he never would have existed to begin with to send Kyle Reese back into the past the first time. So that's one of the things about Salvation that he kind of was missing. And they kind of touch upon this a little in Genesis about the idea that maybe just maybe if something happens to Kyle or Sarah, maybe that does not necessarily alter everything about uh, the events of the future. So that's I'm going to wrap this up now because I've been rambling 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 and hopefully I will figure out a way to be able to play the trailer in the background if we do this concept again so it will still play and, and you just will hear my basically my commentary on it but that's going to be it so terminate the genesis go go now but I think actually seriously I think it's if you like if you like all the terminator movies and you'll like this one and even if you like T1 and just T2 I think this one I think you'll like this one. And also, this one kind of like prepares for another sequel, even though it may not happen. We know they talked about sequels to, you know, T3 and even Salvation. But this one kind of took active steps in the movie to set themselves up so they didn't kind of write themselves into any corner that they had to really dig themselves seriously out of. They kind of already like covered their major bases if they want, if they, this ends up doing well enough to merit another sequel. So this is Mark from the Lantern Cast, and I will talk to you later. Hasta la vista, baby.